Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. So as I promised in my previous video, I wanted to do a comparison between the G7X Mark II and the new LX10. Yeah, LX10, that's what it's called. Uh, in like a vlogging comparison and see how they how they perform in certain situations So in today's video it's gonna perform. I'm gonna do uh, like a low light test indoor outdoor in the shade Hanging out in the backseat of the car, maybe uh, just different situations and I will switch back and forth between the audio feeds And I'll have a, a text description as to which camera is feeding the audio uh, But a few quick notes in case you guys are, don't know anything about these cameras the G7X and the LX10 are very compact, powerful, well, classified as point-and-shoot cameras. So the video that you see right now, um, I have downgraded, not downgraded, but I have the LX10 operating in 1080p at 60 frames. It can do 4K, it can and cannot do 4K. So just to make it even, I did put in 1080p 60 frames for both the cameras. Both cameras, I do have my face registered as a known face. So that way you can auto-recognize me, I guess, pull focus easier. I do have both of them set to 24mm, which is the widest that it will go to. Uh, and they both are shooting in full auto mode. Another big difference between the two cameras is the Panasonic will do an f-stop of 1.4. The Canon will do 1.8. Just a quick test on how both of them track my face. So right now I'm just moving the two side by side, like so, up and down. Okay, so let's get to the shooting scenarios. The first quick test is I'm in a moderately small room with sunlight, no artificial light coming in, uh, heavy light source, actually medium light source with the shutters. Somewhat close. Now I can see both of them lost focus. I look like a extremely dark fellow from Panasonic. Okay, so here I am in a two-car garage that does not have any artificial light, but it does have some light peeking through the blinds behind me. And if you're wondering what that sound was, it was actually my dog drinking water. That's what he does. He drinks water. I guess it's good for him. Uh, these two guys, the two cameras look pretty similar. Um, I think the Canon seems to maybe pick up the light, pick up light better in this dimly lit room. Make some distance and zoom in a little bit. Kind of pan around, see how this would kind of work in a vlog situation. Okay, so now here I am outside in the bright ass sunlight. The sun is in front of me, so let me do a quick 180 to see how it adjusts. Just so you guys know, I can barely see the screen. It's so damn bright out here. It's actually kind of cold. I think it's about 36 degrees, 38, maybe 41. It's actually really cold when you're not wearing any pants or shorts. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and sunglasses. But you'll never know. Okay. See ya! Okay, so here I am back outside, but I'm in the shade this time. Uh, one quick note is the record buttons for both these cameras is radically different. The one on the Panasonic is on top of the screen. It's actually on, I mean, on top of the camera. The one on the Canon, you have to kind of fiddle around. It's behind, it's on the back of the camera. So let me step into the sunlight, see how they both adjust. Sunlight. All right, here we are, ready for some backseat loving. Okay, no, not really. So I wanted to do a quick example of how these two perform in the sun in the backseat of a car. In case you know you want to record anything in the back seat or you want to do a quick vlog in a car this is what to expect when you have these two cool cameras just another test of how it tracks my face i can't track my face when i'm with you 
Okay, so here I am back outside. It is cold as fuck. Um, but uh, this is my low light night test. The sun is going down, so all I have is just the street lamp behind me and a little golden tinge of the sun going down. So it's not completely dark out here, but pretty accurate as far as a low light test. Let me do a quick 360. There's a pretty big difference between the two cameras I'm seeing right now. The Canon seems a lot more vibrant, it seems a lot more sensitive to low light. Uh, right now, actually, I am almost gone. I am actually gone right now. Wow, this is really surprising on the Panasonic. I'll have to get a picture of this to really show you guys what I'm looking at. Wait, <laughs> I don't need a picture. You guys are going to see the video anyways. <laughs> so yeah. Oh wow, that's really surprising. That is crazy. I'm sorry. I'm like just nerding out on how big of a difference there is right now. But the Canon lost focus, but there's absolutely no image on the Panasonic. And just a quick reminder, both of these are on auto with face recognition. Recognition. Let me go back to get the street light. Let me walk towards the street light to get a little bit more. Wow, that's amazing. I'm impressed by the Canon by the low light sensitivity. Alright, I think that concludes the test for now. Okay, so that concludes today's video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the movie, if you like the video series, please hit subscribe for more videos like this and a whole lot more. Alright, thank you. Bye.